Please raise your hand if you are a chronic overthinker because same and for some reason I've convinced myself that people only want to see me post about trend related content which probably isn't the case but the numbers kind of say otherwise and as much as I do like to participate in the trends that I enjoy it's not the sort of thing I wouldn't be posting every single week. Recently I was watching Mina's video about the rise of core and girl aesthetics which was really interesting her videos always are but actually the last quote of the video kind of spoke to me it was while it may seem that personal style has gone missing in action, perhaps it's worth considering that individual style, no matter how great it might be, might be either too boring to resonate on social media or that it might be too personal to be picked up by the algorithm for thousands to see. And I was kind of like, yeah, I guess that's why I think people only want trend videos or these like specific niche aesthetic videos, whereas for me, I feel like I'm in this in-between land. I like to mix and match different styles. I like to take inspiration from trends. And while I do feel like I have somewhat of a personal style, it's not super specific or super crazy, like some that you see gain a lot of popularity on TikTok, which is why today we have absolutely no theme. Everything is very realistic. And I feel like true to me because a bunch of them I've already worn or I'm planning to wear outside the house in the very near future. Actually, you know what? I think we should just start with what I'm wearing at the moment because I do spend a lot of time at home, which typically means I'm just rotating through different pairs of pajamas, but I'm trying to force myself to do like a slightly elevated version of that so I can still feel cute but comfy at home. And I think this is a great little option. A good sweater is just an absolute non-negotiable wardrobe essential for me because there's something so comforting about them. Like it just feels like a nice little cuddle. Obviously gotta be bonus points for a cute graphic and this My Melody one is adorable. I'm definitely back in my red era. If you guys have been on this channel for literally since the beginning, I used to wear a lot, a lot, a lot of red. Like that was my color and I feel I feel like I'm definitely going back to that place. I know typically if you're going with the bow placement at the back, you'd probably have a much larger one, but I'm just playing around with it. And then it kind of reminded me of like an anime character with the little hair sprout. So I just stuck with it and overall, I'm feeling very cute. Speaking of pajamas, this is definitely my most warm pair at the moment. I mean, hello Barbie and hello kitty all in one. I know there's a lot of Barbie collaborations going around, but this one did suck me in. Obviously, I went to see the movie and da, do you even have to ask? Of course I dressed up for the occasion and without even getting into the film itself, literally just the experience of going to the cinema and seeing people of all different ages dressed up to the theme and being excited about it absolutely warmed my heart. I had a few items in mind that I thought had potential to base an entire look around. Luckily for me, I own a lot of pink, but surprisingly enough, I ended up going for something a little bit more understated, I guess, and base it around just this slouchy bubblegum pink top. Originally, I was actually planning on doing a full Barbie inspired outfits video, but then I was like, it's kind of oversaturated. I feel like people have probably seen enough of that at this point, but I was still lef left with an entire Pinterest board worth of inspo and I really gravitate towards the kind of like early to mid 2000s Barbies where it's a little bit more casual, a little bit more cool and I wanted to feel like if Barbie was going to the movies. So I thought these pants were literally the perfect choice. A few accessories later and I feel like a full blown Barbie girl. I will say though, I kind of felt like I missed the memo, like it was supposed to specifically be hot pink, but am I the only one who thinks this bubblegum pink is just as Barbie coated? Whatever, either way she's still cute and to me, it doesn't feel too cost to me, so I could totally rewear this outfit to a non Barbie related occasion as well, plus all the individual pieces already owned and will continue to rewear. Okay, so definitely in my long skirt girly era, partly just because of the season, doesn't have me reaching for mini skirts as often, but also so many cute ones at the moment. Like I'm obsessed with the color palette of this plaid. You've got the deep green, the baby blue, and then just like the random stripe of pink. It should be absolutely no surprise that I'm more of a matchy matchy girly. I mean, the last outfit is case in point, but I have always admired a more relaxed, effortless style that is obviously still very strategic and how it is put together. And I figured now was the perfect time to try that out once again. And despite seeing varsity jackets pop up in like the trends that are over videos, 
I very much still love this vintage Coca-Cola one and I think it's gonna work perfectly with the collar peeking out. We're getting there. Um, although I don't have a lot of faith in me to make the correct shoe choice, I feel like that's where I always stuff it up. Potentially a trusty cowboy boot, maybe. I feel like this is where a lot of people would go for a cool sneaker, but I don't really have a good option for that. So I don't know. I admit defeat, okay? I'm just not a relaxed person and that's okay. We need to play to our strengths at the end of the day. What you like is not your personal style. I like how she dresses, but I don't dress like her because that's not the story that I'm meant to tell and I agree completely. Instead, I've channeled more of like a late 80s, early 90s anime girl, which I very much enjoy. And I don't know if any of you are on the side of K-pop TikTok that has like the cute plushies, but still to this day, I regret not getting Dolphin Soup in. So when I saw that they released like the mini keychain version, I had to have it. And I think he goes perfectly with this look. I mean, come on, how adorable is he? Who wouldn't want to carry him around? I think I'm just gonna do a quick round of long skirt looks because it is pretty much what I'm living in at the moment. And I got this other gorgeous new addition to the mix, which is kind of like a sweatpants situation. Actually, both of these I got in a recent haul from Yes Style, and honestly, my best Yes Style haul to date. I feel like I have finally nailed the best brands to purchase from, and honestly, it just comes down to patience because all of them were ones where it takes seven to 14 days to get the order ready. So, all up, you're looking at almost a month before it arrives at your door. I don't usually think there's more kind of athletic style suit me but I don't know something about this just feels so cool girl I'll have everything listed linked and a discount code as well in the description box if you are interested I was originally planning on styling with just an oversized jersey but I almost feel like that's a shame to take away from the detailing on the top of the skirt yeah this is definitely how I'd most commonly style it there's something about these oversized jerseys that for some reason convinces my brain that I'm just not being perceived when I'm wearing one which I think is why I gravitate to them so damn often and i know you've seen me wear this beanie a bunch as well and undo it again because it was an investment piece that i consciously purchased knowing that i would get a lot of use out of it because literally i feel like it sums up my style so well i'm telling you if there's a takeaway to be found somewhere in this video i think it should be that you need to find your comfort pieces because it makes getting dressed so much easier. Just another quick variation for our consideration if I didn't feel like completely covering up the skirt. And with this one, you can definitely still see the influence my Korea trip had over me with the lack of color. That definitely has a lot to answer for for my recent style identity crisis. <laughs> I was just starting to get changed into my next look and I got a message from my nan to say to check the front door and she had left me these gorgeous flowers and a little handmade card to cheer me up. Literally the sweetest and the flowers are so, so pretty. I'm actually going to lunch with her next week. So I thought maybe we can make the next outfit planning what I'll wear to that. I was thinking maybe this dress would be nice. I haven't worn it yet. Obviously I'm gonna have to iron it before we go any further, but I'm not entirely sure how I wanna style it. So this is the dress on just as is. Very pretty, but very much pain in the ass to iron. I don't know, something about this silhouette is telling me I should just keep it fairly simple. Like obviously this isn't ballet core, but it's somewhere adjacent if you add on the little cropped cardigan. I wasn't actually expecting to be this happy with the first option, but I think it turned out perfectly. Like, look no further. This video is really proving to me that seemingly my only criteria for a wearable outfit at the moment is, is it cute? And is it comfortable? <laughs> Which is the most simple concept, but honestly, I think that's what I need at the moment, okay? We're putting an end to the overthinking. Although I do think I'm gonna stick with the first option, I wanted to try it on with this blazer just because these two colors were actually my top two recommendations when I went and got my color analysis done and I really don't wear them often enough. I could see this really styled up and on Pinterest and totally working for other people. I'm just not too sure how I feel about these two silhouettes together. I don't really know if it aligns with my style. I'd say probably the most commonly saved outfit formula on my Pinterest board at the moment is a long flowy dress over baggy jeans. So I thought maybe we could give it a go, but honestly, I'm not too sure if this is the right silhouette of dress for it. To me, this is like the perfect style of dress to wear over jeans because it has that kind of like A-line relaxed fit. A couple of accessories later and I feel like I could totally blend in with the pack. I do need to figure out how to pose better though. Like I just never look natural. <laughs> 
but the outfit itself has definitely been a go-to combo of mine for almost the last year. And this is what I mean, I am not above trends by any means when I find ones that I genuinely resonate with and want to wear all the time. But the problem is when you're constantly doing trend related content, obviously people are going to expect the newest, freshest thing. But if there's nothing that I'm really resonating with, then I am going to talk about the same trend that has been my favorite for the past couple of years and that does feel kind of stale. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud at this point. I guess what I'm trying to say is I think I need to limit the trend related content. Let me know what else you want to see. Honestly, I do feel like in my heart of hearts, I will always be a jeans girly just because whenever I am too overwhelmed to even consider putting together an outfit, jeans is always what I come back to. But Tutter, I thought we were getting ready to go to the market. Well, I was, Pam, I was, but I don't know what to wear. I don't know what to wear! <sighs> Sometimes trying to decide what to wear can be hard. Literally just minimal effort. Shoes, bag, one little accessory. We can add a hat if we want. And I feel like it's still really cute. I think I might actually wear this tonight. I'm going to a food market with family and it is literally the biggest sensory overload you could imagine. It's Eat Street at Brisbane if you've ever been. Like this is perfect for that. It's just like comfortable. Plus I feel like it's kind of fun and on theme since the back of the shirt actually has all different foods on it. So although this is the option I'm gonna be wearing tonight, I also wanna try and kind of level it up a little bit if we wanted to go a slightly diluted version of like a Fruits Magazine inspired look. Step one, let's add a layer. Add another layer. Adding a tie, obviously some leopard platforms. Step five, you guessed it, add another layer. Adding a headwear accessory. We could probably keep going, but I'm just gonna finish it off with a cute little teddy bag. Hopefully this is adequate to tie you over until I one day, maybe eventually, film that Fruits Magazine lookbook. You might remember a few videos ago, I said I was gonna DIY this shirt with the new jeans bunny, and I finally did. If you're wondering, it was super easy because I just used my Cricut. Trust and believe I would turn this into another long skirt girly moment, but I feel like we get the point. So I'm just gonna go back to my roots and go with the plaid mini skirt. Bro, are you kidding me? How cute is this? I wish I had some sort of K-pop concert or event to attend so people could actually appreciate it for all it's worth. And talk to me, what are we thinking? Award season just around the corner. Is New Jeans taking out song of the year? I feel like most probably. A couple of years ago, I did a video with the concept of like the best styling from K-pop that year. And I really want to do it again. So let me know what you think some of the best comebacks have been. And I'll see if I can recreate some of the looks. I really did still want to circle back to the green blazer. So I think that's what we're going to try now. I actually think this could be a really cute base for it. But at the moment, it's still feeling a little bit disjointed from the blazer. So hopefully we can fix that with accessories. After a very long deliberation on shoe choice, this is what we've landed on for now. And I do feel pretty cute. I'm just happy to finally be styling something that is in my recommended color palette. Because like I said, I keep always wanting to style it with black, which is fine because the colors mostly just matter close to your face. But she also recommended for me that I should stick to low contrast, which means all the colors should kind of be close in saturation. So obviously teaming it with black is the complete opposite of that. I think the main problem I have to overcome is that my mindset is very much teaming things with black makes it a little bit more casual and grounded and then when I take black completely out of the outfit it feels a little bit over the top so I need to find a better balance but I feel like I've managed to make things a little bit more casual today and the bag definitely plays a big role in that and just because I can't help myself and this did actually come as a set with a dress as well I thought I would style this in the way that I would more naturally gravitate towards with the black. And although I think that the previous outfit was better, like this one just feels a little bit lazy, but for some reason, I just like it better. I feel like it is just about being in my comfort zone. I love a good knitwear item, and I thought that this halter top was such a cool idea. It kind of reminds me of the sort of knitwear I used to see when I was in primary school, but they would be selling at like Supre and stuff. Like it's very mid 2000s coded. Since it is kind of like a fishnet, originally I was picturing it in a more edgy sort of style with some chunky boots but since I went with the little cream mini skirt it's feeling more like beachside hanging out by the pier so I'm gonna go with some chunky sandals instead think of it as what I would have worn if I was on the OC which is why I'm not gonna go too crazy with the accessories the reason that reference is at the forefront of my mind at the moment is because I've been doing a ton of research I want to do a video that's like the battle of the TV teen style icons so if you guys have any nominees get them in now I think that's a good place to wrap things up thanks for keeping me comfortable while I play dress ups. I have been posting over on TikTok every day recently, so if you want to see more of me, you can check me out over there. But hopefully, I see you here really, really soon. Bye!